Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham. As promised, I was going to definitely continue the series on the Golden Era Legends. And today I start a new series on the Golden Eagle, Tom Platts, the quad father himself. Check out these photos, my lord, dearie me. Look at the size of those thighs. Look at the incredible separation definition. It's just mind-blowing. No wonder when Platt stepped on the scene on the Mr. Olympia stage with thighs like this, people could not believe their own eyes. If anyone wishes to learn anything about thigh development, who better than to learn from Tom Platt's own ideas and philosophies? Today, the topic is we're going to look at Tom Platt's routine for power, size, and strength basically for the uh, improving or increasing the mass of the thighs let's get straight into it so Tom Platt was also known as the quad father why because he probably had the greatest thighs in bodybuilding history um, his major philosophy and it still is as he as he preaches in his squat clinics today that the squat is king the king of all lower body exercises why? Because he believes, he, and he said it in his seminars, I've actually been listening to them recently online, that the, the squat is a transforming exercise. And I have personal experience with this myself. I used to be very thin. And as soon as I started squatting, I just grew all over. It is, and in, in his mentality, in his experience as well, he has found that the squat can truly transform a person and as he says it, forget about your genetics. The squat can actually really transform your whole physique into something you never thought possible. Now the type of squat style that Tom Platts recommends is using the Olympic style where you place the bar a little bit higher than in the powerlifting style where it sits a little bit lower on your traps. Um, he reckons this style basically prevents you from leaning forward and it keeps you more upright. Nevertheless, uh, the style is done ass to grass. That is not parallel thighs to the floor, but all the way down, ass to grass. What does that mean? Let me show you in the next photo. Ass to grass is when you come down, as Tom Platt says, you sh you, your nose should not travel forward. You should just come straight down. And you can see the depth of his squatting. He goes all the way down to the bottom well below parallel his thighs are well below parallel he also um, recommends using lifting boots now if you don't know what these are these have a raised heel uh, i've actually got an old pair of uh, olympic weightlifting boots these usually have a wooden heel of about an inch off the floor and it doesn't tip you so forward that you lose your balance but it does give you a great platform of which to press from the floor gives you greater stability and greater squatting power. Now Tom Platts was a real heavy advocate of using the leg extension but it was only for uh, creating cuts, getting defined, deeper cuts I guess in the quadriceps. Um, he actually preached always stick to the squat for mass and always perform your squats first. Uh, at the time uh, there were some proponents of using uh, the pre-exhaustion principle where you basically perform an isolation movement followed by the compound movement to basically warm up the area but Tom Platt in his own experience um, has stated that this hampers the performance in the squat and therefore prevents you from having greater thigh development at least that was his own experience so he would always perform the squat first he would perform leg extensions after the squat especially for contest preparation only now, as mentioned, today we're going to cover the routine that Tom Platt advocated for gaining power, size, and strength, basically lots of thigh mass. But believe it or not, he had several different routines that he would vary. He had an off-season routine, which I'll cover in another uh, video. He also had a routine for definition and cuts. And finally, a pre-contest um, routine 
for getting ripped and I mean getting those feathers there's I mean you can really see them in this photo this is one of the the famous photos from the 1981 Olympia where he just stands there dusts off his thighs and just flexes and you can see those incredible feathers across his thighs unbelievable I think it was the first time anyone had ever shown so much definition in quadriceps it was incredible now let's look at his power, size and strength routine, which is the topic of this video. He actually trained twice a week. He trained um, his upper legs twice a week, having a heavy day and a medium day later in the week. During his heavy day, let's say on a Monday, he would uh, squat for seven sets with a warm up of 135 as an example for 10 reps, 225 by 10, 275 pounds by six, followed by uh, three power one could say power sets of a very low reps but much heavier weight 325 by 3 345 by 3 repeated again and then on that final set he would take to failure for example performing uh, squats with 275 for 25 reps or, or more even so as mentioned then later in the week for example on a Friday he would perform a medium uh, his medium workout where he would perform only uh, six sets of squats warming up with 135 again for 10 225 for 10 275 for 8 325 by uh, by five reps done for three sets now please understand that this is an example of his workout um, there is no need for you to actually use the same poundage that he did that he actually used we're talking about Tom Platzi the quad father so of course take that into consideration these are relative weights to his incredible strength of course understand that his one rep max was about 700 pounds or so uh, on the squat so you can imagine that if you try to do this uh, this routine you would have to obviously adjust the poundage to your own relative strength now on top of the squatting he would follow uh, the, with the hack squat exercises shown here which he had his own method of doing uh, mainly he would only do six sets for four to eight reps again um, focusing on power he would start with a heavy heavy weight we would only perform four reps and move this up um, move the volume up that is by decreasing the weight throughout this particular exercise and so he calls this a, a regressive a re, the regressive weight principle where you start with a heavy weight and begin to drop down and drop down and drop down finally he would uh, finish his his upper legs off with leg curls where we've famously probably seen online if you haven't again get online and check it out on YouTube there's many videos of Tom Platts where he he obliterates his his hamstrings he performs four to six sets for 10 to 12 reps to absolute failure and after this he recommended doing forced reps positive and in, a ne and, and in the negative phase and finally after that he would have a training partner hold the machine down where he would perform little isometric pumps up to 25 one second isometric pumps until he just couldn't move no longer not even in an isometric position I mean we all know that Tom Platts was was insane but he took he took these leg workouts to another level it was absolutely incredible to watch and and again get online and check out his videos they are crazy so I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, this first in a series on the Golden Eagle on the quad father himself Tom Platts I'll leave you with this final photo of Tom Platts practicing what he preaches the squat look at the determination on his face getting ready for the grinding sets ahead if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and leave me your comments and thank you for watching this is the golden era bookworm bye for now